Welcome to Free. I'm Geraldine and today we're going to talk about biology. Yes, finally we're moving to biology. But we started with chemistry because chemistry is the base of biology. Chemistry is the basic part of anything, really. And when we learn something, we want to learn it from the very beginning. It's the best way because then you understand what comes next. That's why we studied the atom, we studied uh, the chemical elements, some chemical bonds, organic compounds. And today uh, we are starting with biology, which is basically chemistry, but in a living organism. Why are we studying this? Because we know if you want to learn, well, you can just study. And if you are taking an exam like IELTS or TOEFL and you need to practice your English, when you see passages or lectures, uh, you will have these topics about science, chemistry, biology. And if you already know something about it, it will be easier for you to get what they're trying to say. You won't feel frustrated because you don't know any of the words or you won't block because you have no idea what they're talking about. If you already heard something about it, if you already read something about it, then it'll be easier for you to connect to, to that input they are giving you. That's why we are studying this. Chemistry is very interesting because you can see all of the elements that we have and how they can get together to form new elements or with the same kind of atom to, to see different things. That is really interesting, really amazing. But that is nothing compared to biology because biology is making new things it's building all these organic compounds that we have studied but in a living organism it's biology people it's life it amazes me it overwhelms me it because it's so fantastic i hope you find it fantastic too but if not i hope that i can give you some of my love for it because it really explains us explains everything that is alive and all living organisms have something in common either if it's just like a tiny bacterium or a gigantic whale including ourselves what do we do we reproduce not necessarily i'm talking about having a child i'm talking about within our body all of our cells they are also reproducing that is a living organism is something that is alive that is moving that is reproducing that it's Whoa. <laughs> so to learn biology, you need to find the good in it. And it's the good, it's good because you are biology. You are chemistry and you are biology because you are life. Let biology surprise you. So let's learn some words. In these cases, you need your best friend with you. You don't know who your best friend is? Please check my video on that. Okay, we have to learn how to spell the word, how to pronounce the word, how to define the word. Yeah, why not? We have to, to learn all about it. Let's learn our word, biology. Biology, B-I-O-L-O-G-Y. B-I-O-L-O-G-Y, biology. Biology is a word similar to other subjects that we study or we have studied, like, you know, geology, paleontology, and all those logics that tell us that we are studying something. And this is biology. And bio, well, bio, bio is life. Like in biography, it's the life of a person. So we have biology. Now, let's check the dictionary. If you are going to look for the word biology, we have the entry. We can listen to the pronunciation. Biology. We can even hear it in different accents. Biology. And here we have the pronunciation in phonetic symbols. Biology. And let's read the definition. Biology. The scientific study of life or living matter in all its forms and processes. Always had an interest in biology. Okay then, as when we studied chemistry, we studied the atom. For biology, we start with the cell. Cell. C-E-L-L. C-E-L-L. 
cell. Dictionary. Now let's look for the word cell. Here we have the word. You can hear the pronunciation. Cell. British cell. English. And the pronunciation in phonetic symbols. Cell. Okay, cell. And means that it's a noun. And this one means that there, there are other definitions of cells or other uses. Well, a small room, such as in a convent or a prison. No, this is not what we mean. <laughs> Two, any very small compartment forming part of a whole. And maybe. Three, the most basic unit of structure of an organism. And it says cell biology, part of cell biology. Yes, this is the definition that we were looking for. The most basic unit of structure of an organism. Example, the cell contains a nucleus, a membrane, and a cell wall. The cell is actually the first thing that comes to my mind when I think biology. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when I say biology? Is it something good? We want it to be something good. I remember being in the classroom with a biology book and then the cell, like this. It reminded me of the atom a lot. Like it was chemistry, the atom, biology, the cell. But, well, it is kind of like that, only that the cell is much bigger than an atom. An atom is so tiny, it's like the minimum particles that you can have, you know? But the cell, so it's huge compared to an atom. Things is dark comparison because the cell has lots of components and atoms and or molecules and there are tons of atoms in one cell only. But it's different because it's alive. It's a living organism. Okay, more or less, uh, this will be like an atom. This is an island. It's called Lanai. It's an island in Hawaii. Hawaii is a bunch of islands. And this island will be like an atom. It's not even the biggest island of Hawaii. It's like one of the smallest. This, for example, is the biggest island. And this would be an atom. And the Earth would be a cell. So look at the atom. It was there. Just so tiny and small. And the whole planet will be the size of a cell. A living cell. So an atom, it's very, very small. And a cell, well, it's much bigger. Here we have it again. This one would be the atom. Oh, well, it was like, but the cell. But I didn't know what's, what was hidden in it. Because it's like a universe, really. So what is that thing that you relate to biology? And how can you see the universe there, or a universe there, like everything is happening because you see the cell and it seems it's like the atom. We imagine that it's a thing that is there, but it's actually moving. Everything is moving. The, the cell is making components, reading things, answering to, to the environment. Many things are happening. What is this thing that you relate to biology? And we can start from there. Now the cell, uh, we said that it's much bigger than an atom. It's so big that we can see it well, with a microscope because we cannot see it like, just with our eye. With a microscope, you cannot see an atom. We can only imagine the atom because it's so tiny. But the cell, yeah, we can see it. And I want to share with you four important cells in my life. Like when I was learning about it. The first, the one there in the book. A cell with many things inside it. Okay. Then, um, we didn't have much of a laboratory class, but I remember once that we went there and they asked us to, to bring an onion. So we would put one of the layers, one of the layers of the onion under the microscope. And we were supposed to see there something. So I looked in the microscope and um, there was like this pattern and um, I was like, I didn't get it. it. It was hard for me to to really understand that what I was seeing was actually that layer of onion. Like I thought it was like 
maybe a picture somebody had put there because it was so perfect that I had no idea. And then looking at it and seeing that there were cells actually, wow. Um, well, that really was something. Uh, but I think that was the first and last time I did something meaningful at the lab, sorry. Uh, well, it happens. And then I forgot about it. Then I started to study veterinary medicine for some reason. And we had to study a lot of biology. And in one of those classes, it wasn't, bi I don't remember which one, maybe biology or physiology, I don't know. Um, we also uh, saw uh, cells but from the mouth, from the mouth epithelium. And it was like, so easy, just get a little sample and put it under the microscope. And voila, there you have the cells. And they were so different because the edges were so irregular and they were, you know, one here and the other there because they were just cells. But it was really interesting to see them, like to see that they were there. It was kind of weird and interesting. And the moment I started almost worshipping cells was in the next subject, histology. Histology is when you study the tissues. And there were these tissues that we were studying and we had to see them under the microscope. I just, I can't even remember what tissue it was, but it was so perfect. Like they, they, they showed us different tissues, like like the skin and then uh, lungs and I don't know, different tissues. Uh, the patterns I had seen when I was a child, but every cell was different. So when, was, when it was this particular kind of cell, you had a different kind of tissue, a different kind of cell, and they all together, they made a tissue. And that was like, oh, you know, something a turning point because i i felt like i was i had been locked out of heaven <laughs> yeah, hi bruno because i couldn't understand how anyone could live without knowing that all of us are cells i knew because i had studied that cells from tissues tissues make organs organs make the living but just because I knew it, but I could understand finally that cells together make a tissue, a kind of tissue that is something, that is something, that is everything, really. And we will see that little by little. I will show you some of my favorite cells now. Bacteria. Each one of them is a cell. These are plants, so their cells are different. These are cells combined in a tissue. For example, these are, this, this tissue is muscle. So you have different cells, but with particular type of cell that forms a muscle. That's enough. Cells are wonderful and we will learn more about them soon. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and see you soon.